Hopefully. Welcome to Red V TV as we continue our build up to the 2023 season. And we continue with our player previews, starting at the top of the squad and working our way down. And with 23 days to go, Kev, it's our number 23. It's Conrad Harrell. And Conrad is sponsored by the Chorley Group. The Chorley Group, founded as a family business in 1988, Chorley Group has grown into an award winning organisation operating internationally with six key dealerships and four franchises across the northwest of England in Lancashire and Greater Manchester. Um, plenty of car brands um, in the group. Nissan Hyundai, I've seen the advert, is it that? Learn how to pronounce it. Kia, Vauxhall, Mitsubishi, MG, Isuzu, Citroen, um, amongst others. Here's the keys to your car, sir. Very nice. So I've got now got the Charlie Nissan thing stuck in my head. So, ah oh well, it's what it is. Which proves that branding and marketing works, Kevin. Correct. Correct. One Next. man who doesn't need to build his brand is Connie Hurrell. Um. This video is probably very different than the, the one we did last year when there was, it has to be said, doubts about his signing um, from the fans and from what we've heard from Connie Arell this pre-season, from plenty of players in the Saints squad about wondering why we'd sign him as well. Um, it's fair to say that he made the doubters eat the words. He certainly did, and those words were delicious. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think he started off and the little offload to James Roby for the first try of the 2022 season was lovely and was a good good start to his Saints career. Um, and then, listen, I know I was was quite vocal in, in questioning, um, questioning his performances and, and everything kind of around that at the early part of the season. But I'm also on record with holding my hands up and saying that, you know what, he was one of our key players last year. Um, as you say, I think he was looking probably not to play as many games as, as he did, or I think he might have expected not to quite play as many games and was just going to take that opportunity when it was given to him. And he's done exactly that. And I would argue that going into the new season, I know there's a clean slate with a new uh, head coach in charge and all the squad numbers have been not quite reset, but squad numbers have been given out. I would say that centre jersey has to start as Coddy's to lose. Absolutely. Um, 11 tries in 27 appearances last year. Um Essentially, he became one of the, the first names on the team sheet throughout the year, didn't he? To, to show consistency. Um, one big question mark when he came over from Headingley was about his fitness. Um, he got himself in, in top shape. Um, as anybody who's seen him in a pair of budgies on his dancing videos <laughs> will have seen. Um, <laughs> and he became the, the essentially the strike centre that leads started off with yeah yeah and that's it and I think obviously being in a back line that it did keep on changing we did have to to kind of keep reshuffling but him and Tommy Makinson on that side formed a good partnership didn't they um, and I think it helps when you've got someone of the stature of Tommy Makinson outside him um, a, a proper true professional who's, who's played for Saints for over 10 years now, knows what his role is and knows what he wants from his centre. Uh, Comrade, someone who's quite happy uh, allowing his winger to get away, like give a pass on the uh, on the outside and let his winger go rather than him barreling through when the option's on. They made quite the partnership there. Um, and as you say, with his fitness, you know what? He's got another pre-season under the Saints fitness regimes, under... Uh, Matty and Adam Daniels um, and it'll only stand in good stead for this season too. Is it fair to say 
adding that personality of his to the squad has been really beneficial as well. Obviously, we've got Louis McCarthy Scarsbrook who who plays that role a little bit, but having another one in the squad because it's more than just on the field, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, absolutely, Dave. Absolutely. Um you've got to you've got to be serious when, when times are getting serious, but you've got to have that fun, haven't you? You can't you can't go in every single day, and everyone in work will probably know this, or anybody who goes to college or whatever knows that you're not going in and being serious, completely serious, every single moment of every single day. And having a personality like Connie's round the squad can only be good for him. Um, and you don't want a whole squad of people who might be taking a mic, but I'm sure that he knows exactly when to be serious and when he can play his jokes or do his videos. I mean, we see his TikToks when he's coming away from games and players are having a sleep. And he's uh, he's playing little pranks on him, and it's all taken in good heart. There's not been one that's that's come out where you see one of the players is upset with it. They know what Connie's about, um, and yeah, I think he's I think he's been a surprise, as in surprisingly good addition to the squad, and he's he's a valued member of that team now. Absolutely. Um... Hopefully another good year. And, and listen, we're at the point now where we want him to potentially extend his contract at the end of 2023 as well. And that and that shows just how valuable he's become. Yeah, I think he's he's talking about it, isn't he? Instead of just getting the one-year deals, he wants uh, a little bit longer, a little bit more security. Um, listen, if, if he plays anything like he did last year and gets the number of games that he did last year, um, there'd be no reason... That we we kind of not give him a, a multi year deal, like maybe not. No offense to him with his age, because he's still miles younger than me. Maybe not. Uh, a Everyone's massive, miles massive... younger than you, Kev. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay. Um, but it, it it won't be like multi year, as in we're going to give him a four or five year deal. But two or three could well be on the cards. Absolutely right. That's our number twenty three, Conrad Harrell, done and dusted. Um, we'll be back tomorrow on game day. With 22 days to go, wonder who it'll be, Kev. <sighs> Stay tuned and find out.